Hey, what's up, everybody? Scotty here. Welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. This time we are doing Visions and Whisperers. Uh, since the original start of the game, we fell ill, we fell sick, we stopped our caravan, and we have not gotten any better since then. It's somewhat of a surprise we haven't been dead by now. So we are now up to the point where we need to find somebody to help us. And that's why we're at the Guild of Bell. Sure. So starting off, we're going to get a few quests. We're not going to do those quests. We're just going to get them. If you come in here, you can speak to Nonton. We met him in Bellwood. Actually, well, hang on a second. Um, all right, if you let me explain something first. If you see these people with colors above their names, you have this unique ability to reach out for their soul and to learn the history of these people. And you can read all this if you want, because it is a lot of reading. It is, I think, the shortest. Wow, this one's really long. I think the shortest one that I read was maybe a paragraph. But we're not going to do these to these people. Actually, we're not going to do these to most people at all because there's a lot of NPCs that you could learn the history about. That is a lot of reading. That is a ton of reading. But it enhances the game. So there's nothing wrong with it. Alright, uh... Minus a fatigue for 600 seconds. It's pretty good. Actually meant to go to this house. This is a familiar face, Nanton. <clears throat> this man and woman appear to have been in deep conversation working closely in two bulging satchels. satchels. They move to embrace until they move to embrace until the woman and the woman notices your approach and pauses. Her smile flattering a little. Interesting. Very interesting, because his friend died. But they move to embrace. Welcome. Can I help you? She looks through her companion brows forwardly and with confusion. Do you know this man, Nonton? Yes. I think we met him in Velwood. I think we met him in Velwood. I warned him about the bear. I warned him about the bear. That sounds suspicious. Glad to see that you made it. Was there something else you needed? You two seem to be in a hurry. Yes, I imagine so. We're packing for a trip, actually. I've been meaning to visit Defiance Bay. She looks at Nantan. Well, in truth, I think I've had my fill of this town. Is there anything you can tell me about the old Vell? Only that you want to be moving on as soon as you can. You see that in using the tree, I imagine. But the rock goes deeper. If you were looking for work, I'd say you have a better chance of it elsewhere. So something's going on with them. I suspect she's pregnant. <laughs> or either they're, they have an affair. But her husband died from the bear, but it seems a bit suspicious. We're going to come up here next, pick up a quest. We're not going to do this quest right now. We know there's more grain in there, Trumbull. You won't settle for scraps while you grow on fat on our crops. The first of you drunkards come on through the door and gets a shot between the eyes. God hears me. Sway, or I'll put you down like a dog. Come away now, lads. We'll be back. Trouble. And, with, and we'll have fair prices, or by playing, we will have a reckoning. So that is against the grain. We're not going to do that quest. Apparently this guy's hoarding... 
the local food supply. Alright, going to go to the blacksmith next. You can reach in and like I said, a lot of reading. Lots of reading. Lots of reading. Talk to the go. Okay, that works. Welcome to the first new face. I've seen in quite some time. What can I do to our what can I do for you? Is this your shop? That's it. Been here near 20 years now. Seen all man seen all manner of things over the years. Good looking bad. But the Black Hammer Smithery remains. What do you have here? You come to us in a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's not what it used to be. We have find we have fine weapons and armor to offer yet. All forged right here at the Black Hammer. What happened? We just don't have all the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery from the near on week now, but I haven't seen a sign of it. Have to expect that they were hit by bandits. The road on the east is crawling with them. Or one of my ruckers ran off with a wagon themselves, maybe to make some coin. As if a lot would dare. If you happen to head that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for the supply wagon, or the shipment at least. They'd be cutting through the black meadow, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of the weapons go on to his grace, Lord Radric. That's the lord of this town. And that's as it should be. But it does not leave much for outsiders. We just don't have the iron. I'll find your supplies. Wait, I'm going to do benevolent. It just sounds right. I'd appreciate you trying. You bring back supplies at least. I'll give you more to offer a discount to start. So just by starting the quest, we get a discount. And if you find my workers, give them some smack upside the head for me. Hello. So you can sell a lot with him. But I'm not going to do that right now. But he has a lot of stuff, somewhat expensive. <laughs> that would be real nice to have. Increase reach, constitution plus one. 2334, that's real nice. Crossbow. Anyways. So we got that quest. We got two quests we just picked up. Okie dokie. Next, come here. Actually, no. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. Part of the main quest involves this creepy tree. <laughs> There's another dude. That's a red guy. I haven't seen a red guy yet. Anyways. Alright, down here we got a bit of a talker. This guy right here. <clears throat> We're ten. He likes to talk. Hello. Is he godlike? I guess he is. Ha! Huh. Thought you were some. Never mind. I thought thought you were some. Okay. Never mind. Whoever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach a dark place. A temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. I'm no looter as if it's if it's I'm no looter if that's what you're thinking no one of faithful either just wanted to do some good I suppose got my arm clawed up for it maybe you would have better luck better luck with what these ruins around us used to be temple of the Athos a scattered god a grand temple at that his worshippers would come from all over dry wood from uh, Reed Saris even Till the war, of course, even then you'd get some stubborn ones. The ones that could get 
it through their heads that their god were dead among and gone. Uh, I'm gonna do the long way, even though I could probably skip all that. Once the legacy started, Laird Rick Radric decided that it was too lenient on Ethosians. What? Well, sorry. He had his people go on, go in, and put them to the sword. Left them down there, buried under a heap of rock. After that, Radric ordered the temple. It's been many years after that, up until recently. Lord Radric hopes as if that if we rededicate the temple to a living God, then we'd be forgiven, and the legacy would end. See, so Lord Radric, he's become very superstitious. So this temple that's been in this town for ages. Uh, well, he believes that God is dead, so he he put their he gave their worshippers a choice to either worship a living God or die. But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. These those priests, maybe they didn't have the look of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that. Chopped down in their God's house, it doesn't sit right with me. Excuse me, if you could get down there and find the remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. No small task. There's some coin in it for you if you need motivation. Uh, I'll just say I'll find them because it seems like the right thing to do. These people should be buried amongst their own faith. Else they would have died in vain. Then by the flame, I owe you a good return. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for a long time. It's crawling with your creatures. But if you get past them, the priest will be down there on the lower floor. If they're still there, if they're anywhere. The priest will have all kinds of secret chambers, switches, walls, tricks, uh, sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out. Take care down there. I wouldn't want to have send anyone else after your remains. I'll be here at the stairs. Keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up. Some. We got a new quest, but we're not gonna do it. I wonder how long it takes to load this game, because I got this on my S SD, my solid state drive, and it makes file transfer game loading really, really fast. Although Pillars of Eternity is kind of slow at loading, when I load Fallout 4, it's almost instant. Which is, which uses a lot more resources. I just don't understand why it takes Pillars of Eternity to load so long. So I'd imagine loading screens in this game naturally take longer on a normal hard job. So this woman, F. Ufra, I think that's how you say it. Oh, and you notice that I haven't been getting anything out of these because if you get anything out of these when people are nearby, uh, you'll get caught stealing. It will affect your reputation. <clears throat> this woman's important. Humming quite tuned, perhaps to her unborn child. She looks pregnant. I mean, I mean, she is pregnant. Hail, traveler. Well, finally, I'm starting to think. Oh, I'm sorry. I was affecting someone else. Can I help you? Just arrived. Were you with one of the caravans? Master Edema's by any chance? Yes. They were all killed. <laughs> She's clearly upset. You're about to find out why. I knew. I told her it was a dangerous path to take. Kalska was always uncertain that she could take care of any danger. Oh, my poor sister. I'm sorry, stranger. I just... I can't believe she's gone. If only I hadn't called her, if, if I had written to her, maybe she, she might have still be alive somewhere. I'm going to do benevolent. That's kind of you to offer, but I don't know if I could impose this on you. It's not a small favor. I'm, I'm worried about my baby, about the legacy. Lord well, the legacy, it, it's, it's the conflict between Lord Radric and the Holoborns, the soulless children being born, and she's afraid that her baby uh, being Holoborn, so. 
<clears throat> anyways, I told Sal Kaliska as much as I could, but all I know is that for a long time, every child born in Geldeville is soulless. Hollow one. Empty. It's happened to many mothers. And Lord Raedric, he's exiled all of them. So if her baby is hollowborn, she'll be exiled. Calling them to a sign of the gods is favor. What? With my hat, Hort. That's a special way to say that. I don't know how. I don't know how I'd manage to get lost if I had lost my home too. I hope Cal I hope Calisa Calcasa could help me. They say Regna, the old midwife, knows a way to prevent a child from being hollowborn. That's pretty cool. But she moved south to Anslog's compass two seasons ago. So six months ago. Uh, the journey, I guess. The journey is too far for me and I can't make it as I am, but I don't have anyone else now. With Kalska gone, please, can you help me? Uh, I can't do this nor that. It would be nice to know what the requirements are. I'll find her for you. You will? Oh, God bless you. Here, I'll give you coin just to pay you. I'll give you coin to pay her with. So this 20 copper is going to go to her. You needn't trouble yourself with that. I think a drink. I think it's a drink she'd fashioned out of. Well, I'm not sure. But it shouldn't be too much to be burdened to carry back. Aslaw's compass is what we call a lagoon to the south. We'll have to, you'll have to cross the wilds to get there. And that's what keeps me from trying myself. Thank you again, truly. You saved us both. So we got that quest. There's a little cat. Alright, next. I'm gonna go right here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, just wanna make sure. I'm gonna go to the top. I could reach into all their souls, but I'm not. Instead, I'm gonna come over here. Uh, get all this. Oh, lots and lots of reading. Early colonial history. You can read this if you want. I'll scroll slowly. It just talks about. How this place started. Drywood, that is. The whole region. This calls uh, for a this. subtle touch. Consider it done. I don't have enough mechanic. But I don't. I'm gonna have to look into that because mechanics are kind of weird. I got four lock picks. Wait. I don't know. Maybe I need a stronger lockpick. I see where you're going Locked. with that. I'm not gonna risk getting that because I don't want to steal. But there is something down below that I can't get when it's openly to people. That embassy doesn't do nothing. Don't worry about him. Well met, friend. No, I'll talk to him yet. That's the people earlier. Uh, actually, meant to talk to him. Okay, never mind. Alright, this can get. Alright. First off, this. I'm about to see a very unique feature about this game that I absolutely love. I love this about this game. I gotta make sure I'm saving the right file. Uh, this will work. Yep. So, <clears throat> and keepers. And keepers are very important in this game. 
This actually reminds me of a mobile game, a mobile RPG. I can't recall the name of it, but it's really good because whenever you recruit somebody, um, you'll see why. Greetings. Oh, greetings. Welcome to the Black Hound Inn. Please sit where you like. Would you like to drink a room where we have two available at the moment? I'm afraid we can't offer much for the good meal today. Unless you find the cold porridge. Alright. We don't want to rest yet. I could use some reliable help. Do you know anyone looking for work? Hmm? Oh. Well, I wouldn't say that I could speak from experience, but I think we have a certain coming look for work from time to time. If I had to hire someone, that'd be helpful to send them in your way. <laughs> Let me see what I have to work with. So, very important in the game, especially early game, you can hire, um, you can hire, uh, adventurers, mercenaries, I don't know, <laughs> excuse me, they're quite cheap, so, and you get to build them, isn't that nice? Alright, so I'm going to do this very similar to my other game, uh, Fighter, yep, Knockdown, She's gonna be my tank. You can build them exactly from scratch. That is so nice to have. So, so nice. Colonist. Uh, I'm gonna go with all black. And the cool thing about other characters uh, with godlike, you can't change their skin color or their hair. I'm gonna kind of make her look a lot like her portrait picture. Yeah, that looks about right. That's what I'm aiming for. Alright. Uh... Hmm? Follow me. Yeah, that sounds about right. And you get to name them, which is cool, but it would be nice if you could do a random name. I don't know why they didn't add, add this feature. That's one of the most basic features in player names. <laughs> so now, we have a new character. Hey there. Alright. Now, we're almost done. I just need to come out here real quick. <clears throat> we're almost done with the main quest. Here we go. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? I really like his portrait. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. We're humble folk, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks. Mocking us while we're in our shelters in our village. We don't take kind of that talk from foreigners, especially not Adirians. Go on, say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Why, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarreled. That's where you're wrong. You know, he's got kind of like a... I think it's like an Irish, Scottish accent, something like that. Um, this has always made me wonder about, like, fantasy games, fantasy movies. Alright, elves have their own language, right? So it would seem like they would have their own unique dialect. So let's say that you say, hello, how are you doing today? And it sounded like, or something like that, right? So, it seems like they would have some kind of accent. I mean, I know I got an accent because I'm from the South, of the United States, 
um, relative to elves in fantasy. Just a interesting note. Anyways, uh, no matter what you do, no matter what you're going to do, you're, you're going to attack. <laughs> it sounds especially like you're defending them. Alright, so let's get it on. Don't worry, they're really weak. What level am I? Hang on a second. Okay, I'm level 2. I didn't think I was that high. Alright. Alright, attack. She's gonna do that on him. Huh? Yeah, these, these guys are really weak. It's almost one shot kill. <laughs> Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvuser, at your service. It is something of a long story. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and... Adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. Both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I'm grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so and how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythen Ruins. Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. The locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. Have you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people wow, I, can't remember that. Man, I can't believe they say that. It was yesterday. I gotta look at the rating of this game. It's gotta be mature. I mean, it does have adult language. Of course, this word right here, just as mentioned in the previous episode, they'll probably be saying this word on public TV before long. Ah, that. Sorry, I can't do the accent like him. Well, you know, whatever. As I tried to tell them, they misheard me. It happens all too easy after a few pints, and the accent doesn't help. I see. What I'm grateful, let's uh, discuss something else, shall we? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expected wine. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed, the local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. So th this is, like, you'll find out in the main quest in a minute. Like, the Lord Raedric, he's looking all over for specialists to deal with these Holoborns. And remember, um, you'll, you'll see in, in a minute about souls. Just remember about souls. I expect the expertise, I expect that such expertise would be sought somewhere else. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. As should I, in recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery and... Excellent. I shall follow you. So now we have our third yeah. party member. I'm gonna take all this. And he was a wizard. It's gonna come in handy too. Alright. So what we are going to do now 